Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create an overlapping stroke in After Effects. You can achieve this effect without using any third-party plugins and it's very easy to make in After Effects. So without further ado, let's dive into After Effects. All right, let's create a new composition by clicking this box. Name this comp as the main comp. I set the resolution of this composition to full HD. First, I select the pen tool and then I change the fill option to none. Next, I set the stroke width to five pixels. Let's expand the composition view. Now I create a rough curved shape line in this composition with the help of the pen tool. Then, I rename this layer as Path. Next, I deselect this layer and select the Ellipse tool. Let's change the Fill option to Linear Gradient and the stroke should be 0 pixels. Then, I create a small circle in this composition and also slightly adjust the gradient. Nice! Let's rename this layer as Ball. Next, I select the Path layer and open the Path properties of this layer. Simply click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then, copy this keyframe and open the position property of the Ball layer. Make sure your time indicator is at the first frame, then paste the keyframe. You will notice that the path is implemented in this layer. If I play the animation, you can see the ball moving along the path. Now, if you want to slow down the animation, simply click the last keyframe and drag it like this to slow down the overall animation. Then, I change this keyframe into Bezier keyframes. Now the animation is much smoother than before. Next, I turn off the path layer and select the ball layer. Then, I go to the effects panel and search for the effect called Echo. Simply apply it to this circle. Then, go to the effects control panel. Let's change the number of echoes to around 300. Then, Change the echo time to negative 0.003. Finally, set the echo operator to composite in front. And you can see we've already achieved the overlapping effect. But we need to make some changes to improve it further. Let me tell you some of the benefits of this technique. You can control the light by rotating this circle. If I open the Gradient Editor, you can change the colors as per your requirement and it will change the overall look of the shape. That's how you can create an overlapping stroke in After Effects. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.